Uh, let's talk more about this mistrial with our panel of legal experts, Avery Friedman, a civil rights attorney and law professor, joining us from Cleveland, and Richard Herman, a New York criminal defense attorney and law professor, joining me from Las Vegas. All right, good to see you, gentlemen. So, Avery, you know, you first, this district attorney, uh, while he has not heard from jurors what went wrong, what was, you know, not convincing uh, based on his legal argument on behalf of Andre Constant, he says he will retry. Um, but how might he approach this differently? Well, he could have approached it differently 10 minutes after the mistrial. He could have gone out and said, you know what, it's a serious matter. We need to think about it. We want to pick up more evidence so that we can make a thoughtful decision. But in a rash decision, before he gets his act together, he announces that he's going to retry the case. That, that is a serious misstep. But, I, but at the same time, Frederica, there was a misstep by the defense. Mm -hmm. After all, it's likely that Judge O'Neill is going to rehear this case. And so what happens is the Cosby team permits denigrating the judge. So there are missteps all over the place, and it's kind of reflective of the kind of case this is. It's like starting all over again, and, and who knows what's going to happen in mm. terms of a potential plea or another trial. In fact, let's listen to the district attorney, Kevin Steele. We will evaluate uh, and review our case. Uh, we will take a hard look at, at everything involved, uh, and then we will retry it. Um, as I said in court, uh, our plan is to, to move this case forward uh, as soon as possible. So, Richard, um, would he stand a better chance uh, to retry? No, not necessarily, Fred. He never looked at the case like a, a true district attorney. This was a politically motivated prosecution. The prior district attorney made a determination they could not get a conviction, and therefore they did not allow Ms. Constant to be the witness in criminal charges against Mr. Cosby, although yeah. that DA encouraged her to bring a civil litigation where the burden of proof is less. This district attorney ran on a platform of indicting and prosecuting Mr. Cosby. He won maybe on that provision alone, and so he yeah. brings this litigation on facts and circumstances that took place 14 years ago where people have to testify to what happened then and after. There's a lot of contradiction in testimony and statements that were given. And the problem with the retrial here, Fred, is the problem they had during this trial. Ms. Constant had a relationship with Mr. Cosby. She had some 72 phone calls with him before the event took place. Three That's meetings right. in his house before the event took place. That's right. Then subsequent to the alleged attack, Fred, subsequent to that, six months later, she reached out to Cosby to get tickets for her parents to see his show. That's not consistent with someone who was sexually assaulted. No forensic evidence to prove quaaludes, nothing at all. This is a very difficult case to ever obtain a 12-0 conviction, mm. not going to happen next time. So, either. and in fact, on the case, Avery, of those, you know, phone calls, uh, you know, that was among the items that the, the jurors wanted to see. They wanted to see, um, you know, the dozen sure. or so, you know, uh, they had a dozen of questions, and then they, they apparently wanted to see the phone logs again uh, to, right. to reassess, among other things. They also wanted to know uh, about, you know, reasonable doubt. Now, you had mentioned earlier it would be Judge O'Neill who would be involved in a retry uh, if indeed that happens. Would this judge see that the other 12 potential witnesses uh, would be invited to testify since in this case that ended in a mistrial, uh, he only allowed one of the 13? Well, um, I think Judge O'Neill was right, Frederica. This is the sort of pile on evidence. Uh, prosecution wants to get everybody in who claims anything without any determination by a prior court. It's a Rule 404, prior bad acts. You see it more commonly in civil litigation, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, Judge O'Neill was concerned about reversal because when you put on pile on evidence that has due process of law implications, mm -hmm. Judge O'Neill was right. You could put some in, but not all of it in. And I don't think if it goes to retrial, Frederica, we're not going to see 13 or 12 or even 10. We're going to see maybe one or two more, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. So earlier I spoke with attorney uh, Gloria Allred, who represents several other female accusers of, of Bill Cosby. Allred is hoping uh, some of them would be allowed to testify when the prosecution retries the case. This is what she had to say. 
I think one big problem in the current trial that just ended was that the prosecution wanted to call what we call 13 prior bad act witnesses, in other words, other accusers. And the court only allowed him to call one. That's my client, Kelly Johnson, uh, who was very brave in testifying. Uh, now that there's going to be a new trial, uh, I'm hoping that the court will allow more prior bad act witnesses, more accusers, to be able to testify. All right, so Richard, you were shaking your head before listening to uh, Ms. Allred. Now what? What do you think? I can't listen to her. It's like chalk on a blackboard. I just cannot listen to her, Fred. Uh, give her a break. Give her a break. The prior bad acts, it's usually in, in the federal system, 404B, prior bad acts. When you seek to put that amount of information and evidence on, your case is paper thin. The judge rightfully precluded it because there have been no convictions in those cases, Fred. Right. So it becomes right. a sideshow where the defense tries each and every one of them to try to undermine them and their credibility. And that's what happened to Miss, I can't even say her name's witness, who testified in this Cosby case. She got obliterated on cross-examination. Her testimony was negative, maybe hurt the prosecution's case. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to happen. Wow. And that as far as Camille Cosby speaking after the trial, she just took a page out of Trump's, you know, how to wreck your life playbook. Fine. That's so not fair. She criticized fair. the judge who's going to try the case, mm -hmm. the DA who's going to try it. You know, you just have to shut up, let the let time move on, see if they really are going to retry this case, yeah. gear up, learn from your mistakes, streamline the case, and then I believe in any retrial, Fred, okay. unlike John Gotti or Phil Spector, they are going to get another uh, either hung jury or acquittal on a retrial. We'll see. All right. We shall see, Avery and Richard. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Good to hey, see you both. Happy Father's Day, Avery and oh. Big John and Bernie. It's all hey, about same Father's Day. Thank you. Again. Same there we go. Yes. Happy Father's Day to you both. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So much. <laughs> Thank you.